my lovely Virgos! Welcome to your weekend reading. This is the third time in this month, third weekend in September. And you know, this weekend starts from 17th of September, going all the way till the 19th. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus. As a general energy loves, take what mostly resonates, connects, and of course speaks to your self, to your soul. Let's see, loves, Virgos, what do we have for you and how these energies are coming and blessing you. We have a Knight of Swords, strength underneath. Take your time. The energy is quite quick on the rush. But some of you may feel like, well, tick tock, tick tock, I'm running out of time. But the fact you might not. As well, Mercury retrograde might be that time when you actually don't need to do certain things based on what you feel that my goals to the distance. Four of Cups right here. Four. Two of Cups. Two of Pentacles. You might deal here, loves, with a fire sign. I have Aries. Leo, Gemini energy. For some of you, that's that's you, loves. Should I go forward? Or should I stay where I am? Let's do some clarifications here. Because the leap, you might take in it. But later on, you might doubting it. Should I do it or not. The Four of Cups, Three of Swords, Seven of Cups, Five of Wands, King of Cups. You know, certain things here are I ending or they are happening for a uh, a reason and even though you can give it all even though you could be better or the better person don't ever allow yourself by any means the two of Pentacles in here speaks of eight of Pentacles page of Pentacles knight of cups And the nine of pentacles it seems here most likely you are dealing here with someone who who probably they they demand quite a lot of things from you or they are willing to demand quite a lot of things from whatever you try to provide or give the thing is, the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups are very much the opposite energies. Because heart-wise, you probably want to try again. Mind-wise, you feel like, am I going to deal with this? Or am I going through this? Or what's the catch? The Knight of Swords clarifier, we have Seven of Wands. Three of Cups and the Wheel. The Wheel energy speaks very strongly that whatever here will be presented to you 
are you ready to conquer it, to fully see it, or not quite? Because I see here quite a, ten a tension between whomever you are dealing or whomever you are seeing, meeting, or even communicating. There's a lot of things here that probably need to be healed in the first place. So other things could go forward. Because sometimes certain things take time. And rushing towards something, the universe is telling you, well, pressing certain things might get quite the opposite. Or you might get to the place why in the first place certain things didn't really go to the distance. For some of you, you you expecting the way you treat someone to be treated the same or the way you have your intentions or the way you intend or the way you want, they will do the same. That's not quite a thing. And that's quite a, a lesson for some Virgos here. Because the effort you put might not be 100% recognized. And then comes, you know, the, the conflicted energy out there. That's why whatever here you try or you want to put in, have no expectations. The full energy clarified by justice. So to be in a good energy or in a balanced energy, have no expectations because things will go better that way or in a better energy than ever before. It's kind of learn the strategy or learn how to play your cards great so you can have it all. Let's see. One of the best advices we can have or the best messages we can hear. Three of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Pentacles. And Queen of Pentacles. Underneath we have Eight of Cups. Underneath the Eight of Cups, we have the Emperor. Flexibility. And at the same time, learning how to work through certain things. So they can give you the green light or see the light at the end of the tunnel. And most importantly, to believe in yourself in the way you can make things work. We have three of swords, three of cups, three of pentacles, three of wands. As well, we have two of 
ones, two of pentacles, two of cups, two of swords, the one missing. From the series of threes, three is all about learning. And two of swords missing very much speaks that don't let certain or don't let the same rock to hit you twice. Boundaries. As well, learn how to communicate or the communication wise needs a lot of work. There's a process in here and there's a Virgo who goes through it. And most likely it's not gonna stop in here. I see you very positive because ultimately you are on the right path. But I feel here there's certain things needs to be worked a little difference, different. Because the universe has your back. No matter what you are going through. The advice from the oracles. Milk and honey. That very, very strongly speaks of this Four of Wands. You are going through the right path. You are heading to the right path. But co create with the spirit. Message in a bowel. Accept the news, accept the things as well. Analyze the things. Keep an eye on. And keep it light. All the glitters that speaks of keeping it light till you get deep. As well, all the glitters, certain things here that feels like wow, might be a little different. So work with that. Blend in. You know, like a chameleon is changing their colors. Regard the environment, that's kind of a thing for you as well. So yeah, Virgos, that's what we have for you at this time, for this weekend. If this really speaks to you in a kind or another, in a way or another, let us know. And of course, a great, beautiful weekend ahead. Till the next time, namaste.